In this video I've got another one of the uh, pistols that I bought at uh, auction. Um, it's a uh, pretty basic mid 19th century muzzle loading percussion pistol. It's a nice bag grip on it but not a lot else really going for it. But uh, it's having a, a problem interfacing with the hammer and the sear. Uh, it just feels like the spring is there, main spring and you have to trigger return springs there so hopefully we can do something with it so I'm going to spray some of this um, bulldog penetrating oil basically all over it now that spring that screw there tells me that it's probably one of those Damn double duty springs. Yeah, right, okay. Well, uh, they're lovely to deal with. So, is that a screw in there or is it just? A rod that someone's shoved in there. turning well by pushing against the vise um, and really pushing the screwdriver I've managed to get it to turn Yeah, double duty spring, which of course completely come away. Right. Uh, spring doesn't look too bad though. Uh, might be able to reuse it. So now, what's in here? So there is what looks like to be the remains of a screw in there, but and that is probably just yeah, it's just a bar going through there. Um, let's try and have a help. Yeah, it's coming out. Right, 
that doesn't want to come out. Is a fairly well still defined. <coughs> it's a bit of a mess. That's not coming out. <sighs> right, that screw's destroyed now, so I'll have to be um, drilled out or ground out. So I've abandoned um, drilling it out. I can just because I'm not in the right spot. Yeah, probably was a mistake to grind the head off that screw, but I just don't want to start drilling through the actual trigger guard. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is just use the Dremel to um, to to just take the top of the screw. Um, that's in the in the uh, slot in the screw hole uh, uh, out. So you like with me. <laughs> so um, I've had don't have to um, drill this out completely. All I did was join up the two holes, and I thought oh, I should be able to get a screwdriver in there. 
which I can and I can now take that remainder of that screw out there we are um, could even reuse that to be fair there's no reason why I couldn't reuse that to be threads in there but they are very shallow hmm. might see if I can just see that's very thin I was going to say I can try running a tap through it but I don't want to risk splitting the top of that Let's see so what's that that's Three, uh, sorry, three and a half, three and a half goes through, so it would be four, would be the next one up, wouldn't it? Four. So I've decided to go with. Um, uh, tapping it um, and seeing if it will work. That feels that feels all right. Yeah, that's fine. So um, what I need to do that saves me a lot of time now because all I need to do is make a screw, uh, tap it for four mil, uh, and uh, that's that resolved into shape now it's tightening up um, so what I need to do is uh, make this uh, trim this down to go inside that hole there um, so I have to add extra thread um, and then uh, create the, the slot and file it all down
Uh, the other thing that's going to need to be worked out is again this. There are some threads in there, but again, what use they are. Now it's going to be difficult to get a nut in there, but. So I'm running a 4mm uh, tap through this spring now, I think it's going to work out okay. Now the problem is that the tap has reached the other side of the spring, so I can't go any further with that tap. But what I've got is a tap that I've ground the end off, so the threads have been formed and this, this one is going into the threads which have already been cut, but it will then cut the remaining threads. So that's it, my 4mm bolt now goes in. Now I'm going to try and get a nut behind there because uh, you know, a screw's just going to lose it again. Okay, so we can see it's uh, worn away quite severely there. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, boil uh, all the components to turn any rust into uh, oxide and then I can uh, card it and then I'll, uh, I'll do the repair. So I've uh, dried off all the parts now and uh, now I'm going to card them and uh, get all this rust off. I've welded some material onto the um, trigger and I'm just going to file it all up now. I've been careful to leave the very edge at least so I know where to uh, uh, profile the, uh, the trigger to. So I've got the pistol all carded and um, I've reprofiled the trigger, welded that material on and reprofiled it. I've hardened it I've also made some slight adjustments to the um, full cock notch there and then re-hardened that. Um, so now we're ready to get it back together. Now I've made a new screw for the spring. It is long enough to get a uh, nut on, but whether I'll be able to do that, I don't know. Um, just have to see. I'm going to put the spring in now. Um, and I'm going to use some thread locker.
I'm going to finish this off camera because I think I might be a, be here ages. So I've managed to um, get a nut in there. Um, on eBay I found a set of these spanners with an open-ended right angle um, head on them and I've ground this one down so it's nice and slim and it, it can fit um, around that nut so I was able to tighten that up. So now I just need to put the rest of it back together. Some reason this has gone tight. I don't know why. Oh, really, that screw. What is happening here? So I've got it to, it does run now. So I'm having difficulty with this now. When it all gets back together, this trigger is slipping off the end of the spring. It could be the spring that's worn or it could be this ledge, you can see a white spot where it, it has been just resting on the spring. So um, I do not want to take that spring out again. Um, so I'm going to just weld a bit onto there to extend it. So I've extended that ledge just there with some weld. And I can put it back together, see how it goes. So I've refitted the trigger, um, I, I didn't get it on camera but I did exp extend that little ledge there and it seems okay, it's quite far off coming off there. Um, so we'll give it another try.
oh, for goodness sake. Okay, this pistol is just so bad, it's untrue. If you notice there, there's a, a notch, a sight notch. So you're supposed to be able to look down the barrel and, and get a sight picture. Now, to do that, normally a percussion pistol would just, the hammer would just be in the center. No chance of aiming, so there's no point really in having a sight picture. But on this one, they've moved the hammer over to the side so that you can see down the barrel through the notch there. Now, that would be fine, except the trigger is still in the middle. And because it, the hammer's offset, it, it's riding the trigger there. So they've had to um, put a sort of extra, make it with an extra long bit of the trigger coming out. And it's, as, it, as, you've, as I've shown you, it's just worn away. Um, so I've, re put more weld on there um in order to file it down and i've had to extend this ledge just a little bit because it was going past the bottom part of the the uh, spring there um so you know and then it's got this inherent weakness that all these have you know where it's just held on by a few threads in the spring there and you know they just wear loose and it's it's going to happen to this one again if you cycle it too many times it's just gonna go again because that's even that's not strong enough really to um keep it keep it stable for over a long time but you know i suppose at the end of the day these pistols were for self-defense pocket pistols they're not target pistols so you wouldn't you wouldn't really i suppose you could practice with them but you know once once they've worn out that's it you know bin them and get another one um because there was this especially these type with the double duty springs so cheaply made the part count on these is tiny you know um, and of course a double duty spring is easier to make than, than having a separate trigger spring there and a main spring there so that cuts down the work um, yeah so I'm gonna have to reprofile this and uh, see if I can make it run so I'm hopefully gonna be able to finally put this thing back together I've reprofiled uh, filed down the uh, trigger i've left it nice and thick at the end there so that hopefully it will last a while Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it's back together, and obviously it's a lot better than it was. Um, uh, cleaned up as, as best it can be. Um, so we've repaired the um, double duty spring there, made a new screw for the hammer, and um, reprofiled the sear and the ledge that sits on the spring. So, yeah. Um, there we are. So if you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing.
thanks for watching.